Hi, um, my name is Rose Covert. I am a sculptural weaver. I use natural materials, plants that grow really within a 60 mile radius of where I live. For this project, I'm using entirely willow. Um, but as an artist, I also use um, red osier dogwood, sometimes apple, sometimes pear. I used hazel once, but I'm allergic to hazel, so only once. <laughs> um, but willow is a basketry material and it really, really loves to weave. It loves to turn tight circles. It loves to um, fold and, and curve around its body. Um, so it's perfect for weaving something like this. This project um, is much larger than I've ever worked before. <laughs> it's a very large scale version of what I usually do. I, I think with my work, a lot of what I'm doing is bringing the outside inside by using the natural materials and creating natural forms. I am making work that helps us bring the outside into our homes. Um, and, and bring some of that beauty of the natural world. It's almost like a collaboration where I'm working with the sticks and I'm weaving with their bodies and a lot of what I get to do is be out in the field with them. I get to water them and cut them and peel their bark and watch them grow. I know what happens when the aphids come. I know what happens when we have a hard freeze and the bodies of the materials dry a different color than they do without a hard freeze. And so getting to be out in nature so much and working with the plants themselves creates a bit of a, a dynamic, uh, almost collaborative process. It's definitely like a dynamic dance between the materials and myself. So for this project, because the Verdancy project really allowed us to go as big as we wanted, <laughs> which is a huge amount of freedom and such a gift to get to stretch into really whatever we could imagine. I was really thinking about my work in a different direction, which was we as humans so often separate ourselves from the natural world. We create these natural, these unnatural divisions between ourselves and animals, between ourselves and nature. And then we desperately go out into wild spaces to feel alive in that way and to spend some time in that beauty. And what I was considering and thinking about was creating something that we could walk inside, creating that feeling of a warren or a den or the birds, you know, all of the different birds that build the most beautiful nests or all of the animals crafting and creating these hollows and spaces for themselves. I was imagining creating something that we could walk inside that we might have to crouch just a little bit to get into that would feel human sized so that the people who come to the Veridency Project for Terra Incognita can experience that feeling of coming up on something that is created for a human sized body to come and get inside and to give us the experience of connection, to give us the experience of belonging, for a second to be held by nature, to be held in the natural world, to curl up and sit inside uh, a human sized natural space. <laughs> um, there's also, you know, there's a little bit about beauty as well. There's a little bit about enchantment, getting to be a little enchanted, being drawn in by the shape and the form and the beauty of the weaving while also experiencing that sense of being being encompassed and held by the beauty of the natural world and my project also sits in a bowl sort of a bowl of cedar trees and so i really wove the forms um, into the shape of the trees into this circular um, shape that they already create which i think is also something that we see in the natural world where the animals and the plants and the beings are all kind of growing in concert and in cooperation with each other and so the shape of the form that I wove is really um, in in concert with the the plants and the trees and the shapes around it um, and then I did one thing which I which we'll see we'll see what happens when people come out but there's larger spaces and smaller spaces and then there's one space that gets a little bit more narrow and a little bit shorter 
and comes between the trees. And my intention with that space was that uh, adults don't always climb. They don't always crawl. And it's an opportunity to experience a little bit of that sense. And it's also an invitation for children because you know who's gonna come in this part? <laughs> all the children are coming in this part. And so at the very end, if you go all the way out, there's a spider that I'm not gonna crawl over right now. But if you go all the way out, there's also a window in this spot. And the window was, you know, for that sense of enchantment and that sense of play mixed in with all of the other uh, experiences I'm hoping to create, which I think that's the other thing is that art, so often we experience it and we take it in, but it's often as somebody watching and this project is experiential. In this project, you get to walk and you get to touch and you get to sit inside and have a little moment and have a little experience um, in, in this piece.